I think a lot of people look at this anime series and immediately dismiss it. It looks like an etchy show about pumping iron. And it kind of is, but it also isn't. On the one hand, Dumbbell is a 2019 educational TV anime series about effective, safe weightlifting. It shows pretty girls going through a variety of exercises with a paper-thin plot about those same girls joining a gym and getting into shape. And that's actually where I want to start. While the original manga does include brief interludes about proper weight training, one or two pages worth, it would be easy for the anime staff to focus on the sweaty girls in skin-tight spandex while paying lip service to the exercise elements. Instead, while you do get some sweaty girls in spandex, the show actually spends a lot of time demonstrating proper strength training techniques. Like, after you watch an episode, you will have a really solid grasp about how to do the exercises featured therein. And on that note, it would be easy for this to turn into a dry educational series where every episode is just a series of well-documented exercises. Instead, the staff balances education with just enough comedy and a little bit of plot to keep the viewer entertained. Something happens in every episode, whether it's learning more about a character's life outside the gym, or, well, later episodes get wonderfully ridiculous, but spoilers. Even better, the staff knows that this is a ridiculous series, and they're never shy to throw shade on the sillier aspects of weightlifting culture, from the intensity of gym rats to the absurd physiques of champion weightlifters. You might be wondering how the staff managed to balance education, plot, and comedic silliness, because this is the same director as Tata Never Falls in Love, and the writer who adapted Canon, Air, and Clannad for Kyoto Animation, not to mention the disappearance of Hari Susan Mia. The overall pacing and editing of the show is pleasant, uh, making an effective use of varied camera angles without getting annoyingly experimental. I don't think it'll be hard to watch in that way at all. The show also remains impressively on model in terms of the character designs and consistently animated throughout. And this is a show that has to represent characters moving through an uncommon range of motion from multiple angles. If you're working on an action show, the characters are often in poses that you've drawn before. But as an animator, how likely are you to know how to draw a character pumping iron correctly? Finally, a note about the voice acting. I watched this series partly in Japanese and partly in English, and I don't think I've ever done this before, but I actually recommend them both. The Japanese dub is perfectly effective and nice to listen to, but doesn't include typical workout lingo. Now, I don't know if this just isn't a thing in Japan, or if it wasn't incorporated into the subs. The English dub, in contrast, makes use of phrases like making gains and swall. And I went back and checked. The original Japanese lines are indeed about the same topics. The English staff isn't Americanizing the lines. Instead, they're fully translating them into modern gym English. It sounds a lot more natural to my American ears than the Japanese lines, but of course that's up to you. Overall, Dumbbell manages to perfectly mix education and comedy in a series that might actually make you a better person, or at least just a more swole one.